Greetings, my name is Darren B-Side Young. I'm the Director of Business Development here at DOS Audio of America. And today we're looking at the event series, in particular, the Wood members of the family. All right, guys, we're looking at the Event 212A. Now, this is a much larger cabinet, much higher SPL, much lower frequencies achieved by individual cabinets. Here, what you're looking at is the DOS control interface. So I've just got one cabinet powered up to give you the screen to show you what the audio management looks like. But first, you've got your Neutrik power con in and through. I've got XLR Neutrik input and through. And typically you do have a rain cover on that. We've removed the rain cover just to give you an idea and show you what the back of the screen looks like without the reflection of the rain cover. So this is the default screen showing you the number of units, high pass filter, the current throw setting and your splay. As you can notice, nothing happens until I actually press the encoder for DOS control. So I have to engage the encoder by pressing it first. In the menu I have back, I have the number of units, the high pass filter, I have the number or the setting for throw, and then I have the display, and then I have options. Under my options menu, I have the brightness, the contrast, the dimming. I have menu lock, which is a very unique and needed feature if you're deploying the system and you want to prearrange all of your settings and lock them out. You can lock it directly or you can lock it even with a password. You have the ability to do what's called standby, which is our energy save or eco mode, where you're able to have the unit go silent or turn the amplifier off after a certain desired time. Then you can reset your device, uh, which is great if you're gonna deploy an entire rig and have adjustable settings. You want it to come back, easy to reset, and then your information showing you what your current firmware version and model is. Again, this is the audio management system for the Event 212A. Only the 212A uh, has the DOS control feature, except for the newly added Event 26A, which you can find out more. You wanna see the Event 26A videos along with the 115A. So up next, we're gonna show you what the sub DSP and amplifier modules look like. This is the Event 218A. We've already removed the rain cover on this to give you full visibility. This is the Event 218A. You have your limit LED, your signal LED, and your on-off LED. Below that, you're looking at your actual gain or input level. You do have your variable low pass filter. This is a completely identical interface with the exception of the low pass filter number being different on the event 121A. So on the 218A, the lowest point is 80 Hertz. On the 121A, the lowest point is 63 Hertz. That is the only difference between the actual controls and interface of the 218A versus the 121A. You have the polarity, which is positive negative, and then you have the very handy cardioid mode. Remember, you do not engage or use a cardioid mode unless you have at least one of the two centered cabinets. In other words, one out of three cabinets is gonna be reversed and pointed in the other direction. That cabinet is going to be engaged with your cardioid mode uh, that helps you reduce low frequencies from coming back onto the stage or in unwanted areas. You have your satellite crossover, which is the HPF or through. You push in for high pass filter. This engages the crossover if you were going directly into the sub, not using an external DSP, and you wanted to use a crossover here, you would engage by pushing in your high pass filter and set your number accordingly for this variable low pass and then now the output here is going to be filtered and you would connect that to the top cabinet. Keep in mind if you're jumping from cabinet to cabinet on the subwoofer side, in other words from sub to sub, you do not want to engage 
the high pass filter until you reach the last subwoofer in the chain. That last subwoofer in the chain would then engage the high pass filter so you can cross over going to the tops. Again, this is the event 218A, XLR input here, XLR output here, your nitric power con in and power con through. Again, I've got two event 218As with three of the 212s. You might notice this blue rigging hardware here on the bottom module. This bottom 212A is marked in blue to indicate it is 120 degrees wide, which is ideal for my downfill or my bottom stack of a line array stack. Again, the event 212A is the only module that has DOS control. The 208, the 210, and this series of wood is easy DSP. The 212 is using DOS control. If you want to know more about DOS Audio products, be sure to visit us at www.dosaudio.com. You can follow us if you're in the USA for Instagram and Facebook at DOS Audio USA. Thanks for watching.